YouTube, the smartwatch guru is back at it again with every single Galaxy Watch 6 model. Now there's one color that I didn't get and I don't know how I overlooked it, but Samsung actually gave us a golden Watch 6 40 millimeter. I'm gonna have to go get that. But until then we have everything else, every other color available. And that way I can help you guys pick the right size, number one most important, and the right color. So let's get into it. We're gonna start this video off with the Galaxy Watch 6 Classics. Maybe I'll drop the Galaxy Watch 6 tomorrow. I have an approximate six inch wrist size. And every year I make these videos, it helps everyone make the right decisions. So stay tuned. What is this? Okay. Boom. This is the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic in the smaller version with that black stainless steel, baby. All right, so this is the beautiful 43 millimeter version of the Watch 6 Classic. We rotating, baby, yet again. Shout out to Samsung for doing the right thing. So this one was picked up with the one-click fabric band. So let's see how this goes. Now, I am choosing all small and medium-sized bands because I have a small to medium sized wrist. Okay, so these are the new one click. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Let me press it in really good. Well. Oh, it gets really, oh, and then you open it up, find the holes, locked in. Matter of fact, let me get myself a little more slack. I'm not gonna lie, Samsung, this one click system, was genius. What a way to keep people from wanting to do third party. Third party bands, y'all gotta come with this one click. But again though, you know, Samsung, y'all wilding on your stainless steel pricing. <laughs> Your stainless steel band, Samsung, costs a bag. So does Apple. Oh, I didn't put it on the right way. But that's okay because look, we got the one click bands. Look how quick it is to switch. Oh, I love this. I am a fan. Way to come back, Samsung. Now you guys know when it comes to the Watch 6 classic swag. Oh man, that's not on there, okay. The one click band let me down for a second, but you know, I'm new to this, but I'm still true to this. So let me get this right. There we go, we in there. All right, boom, all the way. All right, let's get this on. Let's get this on the wrist real quick, bam. I like these style bands. On my Apple Watch, I used to rock these bands a lot because they're light, easy to adjust, and typically are comfortable. So, boom. That's a look at the black fabric band on the black stainless steel 43 millimeter Watch 6 Classic on my six inch wrist. Fire, look at that, looks so good. Woo -hoo. Now the small to medium band, this thing is really small and medium, but it's still perfect for my size and wrist. So if you have the same size and wrist as me, I still recommend it. You could get a very, very snug fit with this. So that looks good. We're gonna go ahead and power this on. I think we're gonna connect this one to, we'll connect this one to the Z Fold 5. So let me grab my Z Fold 5 in the mix. Uh, let me go to my Galaxy wearable app. Boom. See, look, it's picking up my Watch 3 and my Watch 4 Classic, which are in the building. Don't worry, we got comparison, guys. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the smaller uh, Watch 4 Classic. I used to, but, you know, I didn't keep it. I was more set on the larger size. So while we wait and allow that to boot up, let's get the Watch 6 Classic 47 millimeter. Big boy out to play, baby, let's do it. See, again, there you go. You get the regular band with it, and then you get your um, secondary band that you pick. Now this is a hybrid leather. Yeah, this that hybrid leather band type of vibe right here. So I'm gonna hit scan again on the Z Fold 5 really quick. Boom. All right, so it's downloading software and doing all that stuff. Set that all to the side. Watch 6 Classic. I'll go ahead and I'll just put it on my left wrist, which is the wrist where I wear my watches. We'll start off with this Samsung, <laughs> you know, stock band that comes with it, which I actually could fit it on my six inch wrist if I go to the very last uh, hole on there. I don't like the way this sticks up at the end. That's the thing when you don't have the right size band, you know, you get extra slack. Kind of has that little gap that I wasn't a fan of with this style of band. That's why I don't typically roll with the ones that come with the watch. So <laughs> let's <laughs> get this up out of here, right? Now we got our one click white fabric band. So you're gonna pull out, this is the one I picked for here. Press it in really well. You get a nice retraction. All of the bands for no matter what size watch you get are all the same sizing, 
which is that 20 millimeters. So something to keep in mind, press it in really good. This one worked really well. That black one, the pins retracted, but this one is just so effortless. Really good system. I honestly like that system a lot. Bravo Samsung. Yo, I gotta give you guys a round of applause for that one. That's a really well thought out watch band design. Yes, I like automatic updates. All right, we're gonna let that set up. So let's go ahead and get this set up. It's a nice size. As you guys can see, this is the size of the 47 millimeter on my six inch wrist behind the wrist bone. That's where you wear your watch bands. And it's a pretty slender watch band because of the 20 millimeter lug sizing. So the bands are not humongous. Actually, you know what? I think I might set this up with my Pixel Fold, if I'm being honest. I got like four watches to set up. So we do have the Galaxy wearable app on the Pixel Fold. And this is good because you guys get to see what it's like connecting a Galaxy watch to a non-Galaxy device. This one right here, boom. And now it's downloading software. So we'll let that happen in the background while I show you guys a comparison of these smartwatches size on my wrist. Boom. So if you got 43 millimeter, boom. 47 millimeter, the big boy, the massive, <laughs> the saucer, <laughs> the flying saucer. But again, I'm the type, I'll deal with the largest size watch. As you guys can see, I, I don't think I could go wrong either way. I think they both are swagging. What I need from you guys is to run down to the comment section below and let me know which size you think looks better. We got the 43 millimeter, 47, side by side, side by side. Hit the comment section down below. Help me decide, and hopefully this helps you decide. As you guys can see, I think they both look good, in my opinion, if you're asking me. <laughs> Boom. I can't wait till they get set up so we can get a watch face. Okay, so it says check phone, hold on. So the Galaxy Watch 6 has its own plugin that needs to be installed. Boom, okay, now that one's signing in. We got the select the apps for your watch. I don't need none of the recommended app. I know I have a backup actually up there. Hold on, let me see. That's cool, I'll do the backup. I typically do it so it could just restore these things. And this is from the Galaxy backup, which I like. Oh, so you gotta sign in to your Samsung account to get more features. So I'll go ahead and do that. Oh, that's cool, because then now you get like the Samsung prompts that you get on the Samsung device, which I think is cool. That means we're probably getting a more Galaxy experience, even on a non-Galaxy watch. Get updates automatically. Then we have the 43 millimeter already ready. So we typically wear this on the left wrist, button position to the right of the screen. Absolutely. Always on display. Get help in an emergency. Track your daily activity, your sleep, tracking, heart rate zones, irregular heart rhythms, which is dope. Okay, that's gonna finish up. So, a little process to getting these uh, watches set up. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm gonna give you guys another look, and then I'll probably uh, pause the video and come back once they're set up with the sauce so I can show you guys and give you guys like a look with the um, custom watch faces. And I might even pop off some custom watch bands from the other watch, throw them on here so you guys can get that type of look. Sneak peek, you guys know I typically make that a separate video, but since you guys pulled up for the real smart watch guru and not C-Kid, I got you guys in this video. Okay, so as you guys can see, looking at my Pixel Fold, my watch has been restored, the same thing on the Z Fold 5. Okay, so uh, I could go to my watches and I don't have any, so I could go to import watch. As you guys can see, I got all of these watches that I just used quick share from my Z Fold 4 to get over to the Z Fold 5. Super easy, super quick, and now I got swag. So, really quick, this is the stock look with the stock watch face. Now we about to add some sauce. So I'm gonna long hold, you can go to add a watch face. Scroll, where's watch face? There it is, this is what I want. I just wanna add this as my watch. All right, so that swag's being added on this end. Let me do the same on the Pixel Fold. You gotta always install a companion app. Same thing, import. So uh, let's just get this two-door really quick. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh yeah, I gotta set it. Ooh, I can tell you now, it's definitely gonna be the larger one for me. Having this size of a display is everything, in my opinion, especially for navigation and stuff. And you know, I play with glasses, so you already know what I'm on, so. Okay, explore, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that one's loading. This one's already loaded, as you guys can see. 
We got the Brightland vibes. Let me put another one on here. Somebody was trying to tell me that you couldn't do it on the new ones. I don't know what you talking about. Listen, I show you guys how to do it. Now listen, I am not tech support. I show you guys in the video. This is not the video where I show you, but the video is coming up and I literally give you guys step-by-step -step directions. Some of y'all just knuckleheads. I don't know what's up with y'all. But anyways, as you guys can see, oh, that's the 47 millimeter. And this is without a custom band. Wait till I put a custom band on there. And then this one's loading. So we loading a rolly face on this side. We'll let that go. So this is the two door face right here. Let's switch it up. Let's add another one. Let's get a rolly one. Uh, we got the Submariner, classic as usual. All right, let me see if I can fix the weather. Now, I'm no longer gonna get that. Boom. As you guys can see on this side, we got the Submariner on the 43 millimeter looking nice. Let me do one more over here. Let's see, let's do, do this gold one. Oh yeah, my favorite little rose gold one. But as you guys can see, big Submariner on there, boom. All right, so what I'm gonna do really quick, let me grab a couple custom uh, watch bands really quick that I can throw them real easily and I'll show them to you guys. Just for uh, kicks and giggles, I'm not gonna do the full, you know, comparison that video's coming, but that's the previous four classic versus the new one. Not much of a difference, like I said, in sizing one millimeter. I'm gonna try to put this black um, Milanese style one right here onto this one. I like these fabric bands. These fabric bands are comfortable. They're very lightweight and minimal. And that one click, phew, Listen, I might have to get the one-click stainless steel from Samsung for y'all. In order for that, I need y'all watching every video, watching all of the ads, smashing the uh, like button, sharing, because, whew, y'all seen them prices on them stainless steel Samsung uh, watch bands? But the beauty of it is, will be the fact that I can use the one-click system and show you guys, and show you if it's worth it, you know? I'll check the quality, but again, you know, I'm gonna be real. You get a better bargain going on Amazon, the only thing is you're gonna have to deal with this. It's not the worst thing to deal with. The fit as well is also like, you know, it's not the same as the third party. It's not like the best perfect fit or anything like that. I don't know, does Samsung do a block for the third party? They want y'all spending the 200. It's not ideal, I'm not gonna lie. It's not like the perfect fit. So I didn't even put it on the right way, it looks like. <laughs> Clamped on, bam, third party with the third party watch face on the 43 millimeter classic. That is classy. We got the 47 millimeter, both of them with third party watch faces. You guys let me know down below in the comment section, is it the 43 millimeter for you or is it the 47 millimeter for you? All right, so let's get into the key differences between a 47 millimeter and a 43 millimeter Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Now. The 47 millimeter is gonna come in at 59 grams versus the 52 grams of the 43 millimeter. So it's a lighter package, you know what I mean? And to some, those grams may mean everything. To others, it's negligible. And then another difference between the two that could be a deciding factor is the size of the OLED panel. You got a 1.3 inch versus the 1.5 inch. Like I said earlier, for me, it's an easy decision with the 47 millimeter just off of screen real estate alone. Another thing around the display is the exact same PPI density, so there's no difference in clarity whether you choose the larger or the smaller. They're both gonna give you the exact same OLED goodness, basically. Now, another thing to keep in note between the two, this is another big topic of discussion, is battery sizing. But you also have to consider larger display, smaller. Not by that much, but the battery sizing is quite different. You got a 425 milliamp hour on the 47 millimeter versus the 300 milliamp hour on the 43 millimeter. So keep those things in mind. Those are like the real true key differences. Another thing you have to look at between these two when making a decision is color. What color do you prefer? Do you prefer the silver stainless steel? It has that shiny polished stainless steel this year on the 47 millimeter and it's not the uh, brush. Actually, it's a combination. It's brushed on this side, and then it's polished inside, polished right here. I like what they did, and it's kind of muted, like a matte uh, stainless steel for the turn bezel. Boom. And then when you get on the black stainless steel, it's the exact same design in with the brush on the side, the polish right here with the uh, matte turn bezel. So pick your color, choose your size wisely because 
you know, you can always try a size and if you don't like it, switch up or switch down. But at the end of the day, I have a six inch wrist. So right now, hold on, let me give you guys one last official look. 47 millimeter, I'm gonna do them both on the left wrist since that's the wrist that I actually wear. So 47 millimeters, this is with the fabric band. I'll show you guys like stainless steel bands and third party bands in the upcoming custom Watch 6 Classic and Watch 6 video. So you guys can see, that's a big boy, hefty. I like the feel and it's not too crazy in weight. Now again, I don't have a full stainless steel band. These are really light bands, that's why I like these. So these are also a cheat code as well. And I like the way that the black fabric band just blends with the black stainless steel. This is a really nice combo. A really nice size too, it fits my wrist very well. I understand that. I know with the smaller wrist, the smaller watches tend to look favorable to some, but it's 47 millimeter gang over here just for screen real estate and that battery and so forth. I'll let you guys know about true battery life in the upcoming follow-up review and I'll do it on both of them and let you guys know and fill you in. But until then, my name is CJ. I'm the smartwatch guru. Smash the subscribe button, turn on the like button. Next up, we got the regular Galaxy, oh wait, not these. <laughs> Next up, we have the regular Galaxy Watch 6 comparison video for sizing. Thank you for watching and checking in with your smartwatch guru. Peace. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. It's understood. Get up, had to beat those eyes. Got up and I beat those eyes. It's understood. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. And now I'm good. Wake up and I do my part. Wake up and I do my job. Just how I should. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. It's understood. Get up, had to beat those eyes. Got up and I beat those eyes. It's understood. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. And now I'm good.